Hello. Welcome to today's lesson of how to cook in Spain. Okay, today's lesson, Authentico Spanish Bocadillo. Now, bocadillos, they take a lot of practice and a preparation, but I will try to break it down for you, okay? First, you got to have your good bread, and you got to have some sorts of pork, huh? Some kind of porks. So we got the salami, and uh, we got uh, some what they call bacon here. It's not bacon like in the United States, but hey, what do you think we're at? The homestyle buffet? Okay. Now follows along so you don't get lost, okay? Now this is how to make an authentic bocadillo. Get your bread. You put some meat on it. There you go. There's your bocadillo. Have a nice day, okay? I have my daughter here. Then she wants a bocadillo. You want a bocadillo? I can't hear you. What do you think this is? Walmart? Come on. Well, you want a bocadillo? Yeah. Okay. Get your bread. Oh, you want bacon on your bocadillo. There you go. Spanish bocadillo, okay? Now, I got my other daughter here. It looks the same, so you don't need to see her. You look Rachel, right? All right. You want bocadillo? Yeah. All right. Oh, you're one of them uh, veterinarians, right? You don't need like uh, pork, huh? Well, there's nothing much for you here in Spain, huh? So here's how they make a bocadillo for the vegetarian. Okay, they either put a tuna or they put a little bit of this. See this tomato? See this tomato, huh? See this tomato right there? See this, huh? Well, they don't put that much on there. They put about this much on there right there. See that? No, you can't see it. Uh, here's cheese, huh? Here's your flipping bocadillo. Have a nice day. All right, that concludes the lesson of how to make a bocadillo. Tomorrow's lesson is... Why do all salads have tuna in them? I don't know. Okay. Bye.